Your days are numbered. That is a sobering thought, isn't it? You have a finite number of heartbeats. And when you have reached your allotted tally, there will be no more. To put it starkly, we are in the queue for the crematorium. It may be a long queue, but it's getting shorter all the time. Queen Elizabeth I is supposed to have said on her deathbed, all my possessions for a moment of time. In her day, she was the richest person alive, yet she had no bargaining ships with death. And neither do we. One person who felt this very keenly was Moses. He wrote Psalm 90, uh, the only psalm that is attributed to him out of the 150. Uh, Moses knew from bitter experience that the Lord places a final limit upon us. Though he was loved by God, Moses perished in the wilderness. He was short of the promised land. This death sentence is often spoken of in the book of Numbers and Deuteronomy. It was a non-negotiable decree. Moses will not cross the Jordan. He must die in the desert. Therefore, Moses journeyed through the wilderness and prepared his people for the future with a certain knowledge that he would not make it. The shadow of death fell across everything Moses did. And so he writes these verses from experience. Psalm 90 from verse 9, Moses writes, All our days pass away under your wrath, O Lord. We finish our years with a moan. Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures. In the older translations, our years will be three score year and ten, or if by reason of strength they will reach four score. That's the way they used to do it in the, uh, the King James. Three score year and ten, or four score. That is 70 years or 80 if our strength endures. Yet the best of our days are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. If only we knew the power of your anger, your wrath is as great as the fear that is your due. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. We naturally fear death, and we naturally seek to put it out of our minds. But Moses instructs us in a different course. Moses teaches us to number our days. That is what will give us a heart of wisdom. So what does it mean to number our days? I wonder if this means more than simply embracing our mortality. You know, it, it takes no great spiritual insight to figure out that the grave awaits us. Yes, uh, we can number our days in that sense, that we are mortal. Um, but perhaps the numbers themselves are important. Perhaps that's how we will gain a heart of wisdom. Because let's think about verse 10. Uh, our lifespan will be 70 years, 3 score and 10, or 80 if we have the strength. And the numbers 7, seven and, and 8 are very significant in the Bible. 7 and 8 and their multiples um, mean something in the Bible. In the Bible, seven is a, day of com is, a, is a number of completion. There are seven days in the week, and when you get to the seventh day, the week is over. The eighth day is the day after the seven, and it begins something new. You break through into a whole new beginning. And so, you know, Jesus, he died on the sixth day. He was laid in the tomb on the seventh and brought it all to a completion there, but he burst out through the grave on the eighth day into new life. So he went from seven kind of life and then through almighty strength came through into eightness. And here I think is a kind of a little gospel proclamation. Here in verse 10 of Psalm 90, we see that our natural span of life is 70. But there can be a supernatural operation of almighty strength that will deliver us beyond natural life and into resurrection life, into a whole new beginning. So then to number our days doesn't simply mean to consider our finitude, although that is essential. If we want to apply our hearts to wisdom, we must know that by reason of God's almighty resurrection strength, there is life beyond limit. Life beyond the sevenness of natural life. Yes, there is an end to our natural lifespan, and we must face that. Have you numbered your days? Have you recognized that you will be in the ground someday? There is a limit to our natural lifespan. But through Christ, there is also an eighth day reality. There is a new beginning on the other side of death. One day beyond our last day. 
there will be days without number. And today, every day is a day closer to that. Mm -hmm.